Yeah, this is Carol at Red Dirt in My Soul. This week's video covers November 9th through the 26th of 2021. And I start off with uh, my ducks. Uh, these two drakes I've raised since they were chicks and I keep trying to uh, set them free on the creek and they uh, don't want to go. They have too good of a life living with my chickens. So they still, even though I took them down on a nice day, introduced them to the creek, they still live in my chicken coop with my chickens. So <clears throat> they still don't have names because I always thought they were going to fly away. But evidently, they love me and chicken food too much to fry. <laughs> Moving right in, I have a couple of quick portraits I did that of Megan and this one of Daniel. And then we jump into uh, when we were having problems with the pipeline out in the Badlands and we gathered up a bunch of cattle and brought them into that uh, reservoir and let them drink. Uh, and usually this reservoir is much, much bigger. You might remember that as one of my puzzles. I'm being a sandstorm. Here at Quinlan's uh, turning back some cows just a little bit. We don't want him to go that direction, so he's getting in their way and discouraging them from going over the hill. He does pretty good. And then over here in a little bit, you'll see Jackson sitting on his horse doing the same thing, but on a different side of the herd. And... Then never look like you're doing much, but if you're not there, the cows would go over that hill and start grazing. So he is doing a good job. <laughs> then, of course, I always seem to want to fill in this uh, tall sage brush because it's it's impressive. It's it's tall. I want to get lost. <laughs> you want to get lost? You will. You go in there. You might want to stick to the trail. And then the, the girls came along, uh, brought us lunch. And, uh, of course, every time we take a break, the, the kids want to get on our horses we've been riding. So, of course, Reagan had to get on. Um, Here's my uh, photography class that I took, uh, doing some editing on the computer, uh, cutting the plastic that we seal them in, and then you have to shrink wrap that plastic to show off your photographs. And then this is our little display that we had for the public to come in. Uh, you can see we had quite the variety of um, Pictures taken, those three are mine. There's Johnny and Lorelai and the red red dirt. And um, anyway, we had everything from wildlife and scenic uh, close-ups, um, portraits. We had black and white. We had color. We, we did all sorts of things. And um, we only got to choose uh, two or three pictures a piece to put in the show so um, we had a pretty good group there's some pretty amazing photography here And then, of course, we are back moving cows down the highway. And it uh, seems like Reagan's always in my pictures because the big kids, of course, are in school. And so she's always the one that's hanging around when we're moving cows. And, of course, this time we just moved them down the highway. So we used side-by-sides and four-wheelers. Uh, Daniel and Tess took a few heifers to a show in oh, Cheyenne. And uh, 
so they had to call the break and uh, teach these Not a problem. how to be bathed and brushed and crimped and shown and this is some that they raised themselves and right now <clears throat> you're just seeing we Tess has washed it and then we basically are blow drying the hair and so what you see flying off is just water um, and so yeah you, you dry it and so you dry it so that the hair stands up and is really fluffy and then you, you brush it against the grain so it stands out and there's oh there's a zillion tricks for, for making things look pretty and you can see how concerned the pepper is she's still eating so she doesn't care what she's getting blown out like that <laughs> anyway so that's been an experience for us. We we haven't done a lot of that before. And then this was when I first started uh, my alcohol ink on cups. And the first picture was uh, a mistake. Some people say use blow dryers and it just ruined this cup. So I kind of it reminded me of a tree, so I took that part that was blown, that was ruined my cup, and I turned it into a tree, and it turned out pretty good. Uh, here's a couple other ones I did. I added gold to this one. Um, I thought it needed a little extra, so. Um, and then this one, this one reminded me of the ocean and the beach, so uh, I added some to that, too. Okay, this is Daniel Pap tests his herd. And so this vet came down and he knows how to do this pap testing. I've done an entire video on pap testing. Uh, <clears throat> and it just basically shows how good your cows will do at high altitudes. Um, because it um, can be hereditary if they get up too high and have problems breathing. Um, my nephew showed up with his new baby and then uh, followed... Uh, is a lot of um, <laughs> photos that I take to turn into puzzles and uh, so you'll recognize a, a couple of these you guys always give me a challenge here to come up with an interesting puzzle and so um, some days I do walk around and just try and look and see what I can come up with uh, Jackson's birthday uh, was celebrated and he had a cavalry theme and uh, he had a good time with that. Then, of course, uh, Thanksgiving um, with the kids' table. And then, of course, back to work. We had, uh, this is when our heifers get their uh, cow tags, and they also get a tattoo that matches the number in their ear tag in case their ear tag uh, gets lost. And then we can look in the other ear and it's tattooed and it does have needles on there that um, punch little holes and then Brandon has that green dye just like regular tattoo dye that that goes in there and so we can tell what the numbers are we had to stand for portraits there um, so we did it right in the middle of a work day so none of us are looking real pretty uh, here's Reagan celebrating her birthday and then if you knew Dally, this is one of Dally's daughters. I think she looks tremendously like Dally. I pulled out this old picture of Dally. It's not from the same angle, but it really does show um, how this, how these neighbors that have Dally's daughter, um, you know, it looks just like her. And then there's Bravo. Had to leave it on a good note. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your support.